Now that put us in a download mode. We can set the phone aside and go into our Odin one click and now we can see that we are connected so click start this will launch a five step thing and it will proceed after that now be sure you do it this exact way don't cheat the system you must launch the Odin one click downloader first then do it exactly as I described. It's very picky, and otherwise, Odin one click will get stuck on settings such as do not turn off target or uh, firmware update start, and it will never actually proceed. So, this is going to take a moment. On your Android phone, you should also see uh, a blue progress bar as well. Now, this is flashing the stock firmware back to the phone, it's not actually erasing anything on the internal SD card it's simply rewriting system folders and um, the actual data for the system entries be sure not to let the battery fall out or anything like that in the middle of this um, it's actually pretty hard to hard brick one of these phones most people that think they've bricked have actually soft bricked and it's fully avoidable by entering download mode and redoing this this is a great recovery sequence as well, so be sure to uh, keep this in mind if you soft brick the phone later on, because it does happen. So, Okay, now it's reset. The phone is going to start back up. It may be a bit slow, as this is essentially the first time it started, uh, as far as it's concerned. Now remember, you're not going to have a uh, SIM card right now. So, you should have Wi-Fi, assuming that you've downloaded all this. It's going to go back into uh, Linux and do a few things. Reboot one more time, and then it's going to start. I'll come back as soon as the phone has booted up, and we'll continue this process. Okay, once the phone boots back up after all that... Go ahead and set USB development mode once again. Uh, you have to unplug the USB cable because it's default set to go into keys mode. So go to settings, applications, development, and check that tab and say OK. Now, with Odin still open on the PC, of course, plug back in the phone. set it aside. Odin will see that it's added and provide you with the column port and some info about it being added. Then we're going to go over here and do a master clear. Now we've started our master clear. We can step back and see that it is now performing another green bar going across. At this time you will not see anything on the phone side. It's all transparent to the end user at this point. So allow that progress bar to finish and your phone will flash some text once it's done uh, talking about a factory reset. So we'll wait for that. Factory format. After a few seconds reboot, please do not touch any button. So, remember that. <laughs> so at this point, it's going to do a full factory reset. Now this is the point that it is completely wiping your internal SD card and uh, restoring the phone to factory settings using the previously flashed ROM. So it's going to boot back up and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, once we're back up, go ahead and unlock. You'll notice if you go to Applications, My Files, that everything has been wiped at this point. You can click Settings, Applications, Development, put the phone back in the USB debugging mode. And once you have done that, go ahead and pull down, mount your USB. We're going to reroute the phone at this point to continue with our steps. 
So once we've done that, open up and explore. As well as the captivate one click root zip file or folder that the files are in. We will be dragging the file root.zip to your internal SD card that we just mounted and changing the name of that to update.zip. Now, one click root.exe and then click one click root. It will push as we spoke about earlier and reboot the phone into recovery mode. And you can close those files and folders in the background on the desktop. Once it does this, volume down to highlight reinstall packages and then of course power to perform that action. So it does the following and reboots the phone we've now rerouted the phone for the next step so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit once this phone reboots okay once the phone is back up go ahead and unlock it and we're gonna go into the market uh, this is where you will need a Wi-Fi access so let me set that up real quick so just connect to a Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, I apologize, you will need to power the phone back off, put your SIM card in so you will have data access to download this app. So, but you should be probably close to a Wi-Fi access point if you've been getting all these files. So let's see. Okay, I connected. And we're going to go ahead and set up uh, our Gmail account so we can download this app. Okay, that's going to take a moment, it'll sign in, say next, go back into the market, accept the EULA, it'll pull up the market, and go ahead and search for ROM Manager. Get the free one, and install. Premium version is available for five dollars. It does include uh, many enhancements that you can read about there at the marketplace. Uh, so at this time, it's going to go ahead and download our app. And we'll wait on that, and I'll get back to you in a sec when that finishes. Okay. Once you've installed ROM Manager, go ahead and open it. It will check for root access, at which time we know that we will be approved. Say OK to the opening cards. Click Flash Clockwork Recovery and choose your model. We're working with the Captivate, so we will pick Captivate. It will download that. You'll see the green progress bar. Be sure to allow super user. And OK. It has done that successfully. Uh, so at this time, we'll go back in and copy our cognition file to the phone by mounting our phone again. So I will copy this file. And I will just wait for it to be pulled up on my computer. And then I will paste the file in the root of the internal SD card along with everything else. That'll take some time. We're looking at about a couple more seconds. Okay, once that completes, go back onto the phone and within Clockwork Manager or ROM Manager, we will 